The Three Bears by Paul Galdone Once upon a time there were three bears who lived together in a house on their own in the woods. One of them was a little wee bear, one was a middle-sized bear, and the other was a great big bear. They each had a bowl for their porridge. The little wee bear had a little wee bowl. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bowl. And the great big bear had a great big bowl. They each had a chair to sit in. The little wee bear had a little wee chair. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized chair. And the great big bear had a great big chair. And they all each had a bed to sleep in. The little wee bear had a little wee bed. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bed. And the great big bear had a great big bed. One morning, the three bears made porridge for breakfast. But the porridge was too hot to eat. So the three bears decided to go for a walk in the woods until it cooled. While they were gone, a little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. First she peeked through the keyhole, then she looked in at the window. There was nobody inside, so Goldilocks opened the door and went right in. There was the porridge on the table. It smelled very, very good. Goldilocks went straight to it and began to help herself. First she tasted the porridge of the great big bear, but it was too hot. Then she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but it was too cold. Then she tasted the porridge of the little wee bear. It was not too hot. It was not too cold. It was just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went into the parlor to see what else she could find. There were three chairs. First she sat down in the chair of the great big bear. But it was too hard. Then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear. It was too soft. And then she sat down in the chair of the little wee bear. It was not too hard. It was not too soft. It was just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she rocked and rocked and chilled the chair broke. Down she went, plump, onto the floor. Goldilocks went into the bedroom where the three bears slept. First she lay down on the bed of the great big bear, but it was too high at the head. Then she lay down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear, but it was too high at the foot. Then she lay down upon the bed of the little wee bear. It was not too high at the head. It was not too high at the foot. It was just right. Goldilocks liked it so much she covered herself up and fell asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough, so they came home for breakfast. The great big bear looked at his porridge bowl. Somebody has been tasting my porridge, said the great big bear in his great big voice. The middle-sized bear looked at her porridge bowl. Somebody has been tasting my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. The little wee bear looked at his porridge bowl. Someone's been tasting my porridge, and it's been eaten all up, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. Then the three bears went to the parlor. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody's been sitting in my chair and has sat right through it, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the bedroom. Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody's been lying in my bed, and here she is, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. Goldilocks woke up. There were the three bears all staring at her. Goldilocks was so frightened that she tumbled out of bed and jumped right out of the window. She ran away as fast as she could, never looking behind her. As for the bears, they never saw her again.